Hey girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for January 2022, darling, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how, as well as if you enjoy my vibe for today, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces, because it helps me out more than I ever possibly could know, darling, all right? Uh, be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Pisces, to get the full spectrum of what's going on for you, darling. Um in your life in specific as well as to be looking for the code word that's going to pop up somewhere in this video pisces um so you can be putting it in the comments below and be entered into a chance to win a completely free reading by me darling okay so let's jump right into your tarot reading today pisces if you want to book a private reading with me simply that's the only place i do readings all right pisces so let's get into this energy here starting out strong come on now pisces what's up darling uh time for celebration darling come on with the sun energy darling Ooh, yes darling come on now i'm just gonna show it a little bit longer honey um with the sun energy is the best card in the tarot deck pisces right that's why i'm showing it you know something's going to be revealing itself to you um as well because the sun is the card of illumination things revealing itself um but overall the sun card represents just extreme positivity abundance um pisces just you can't really get a better card than this as i said it's the best card in the tarot deck um so very strong positive news coming in here um something might potentially being revealed and Pisces. Uh, and then with the Hierophant energy uh, coming in here, this is the card of marriage. Some of you guys, Pisces, might be, if you are in some type of relationship, I wouldn't be really surprised, Pisces, if someone gets proposed to, darling, I'll just say it might be someone around you as well. Some type of good news. Um, Hierophant energy as well. This could be referring to some type of job. You might be receiving a very positive sign um, in the workplace as well uh pisces two major arcana darling mm. uh, i love it though um but overall something just very positive news in terms of something that you um have committed to right so very very positive sign and then the queen of cups darling all right so many of you guys pisces you're going to be receiving some type of positive message something being revealed to you about um might even be you might be receiving some type of offer i just tried to adjust glasses that i don't have on right now pisces you might be receiving some type of offer of deeper commitment uh with somebody in your life pisces could be romantic could be platonic darling as well um if this is romantic i feel as if y'all most of you guys will be it's with somebody that you already have connected bit with for a while and they want to take it to a deeper level could just even be platonic in the sense of being like some type of friendship that you have in your life pisces um wanting to really uh, uh, make your strong uh, bond stronger with them in some way pisces with this queen of cups here and i feel like you already like you guys have already kind of gotten this sense of this as well with this queen of cups you kind of have like your eyes have you have considered this possibility um happening this going down uh pisces and then with the eight of swords coming in as the back of the deck um very interesting actually pisces because this is an energy where it's just like you had an idea about this or maybe you wanted this positive outlook to happen or this positive outcome to happen rather but there's like nothing that you could have personally done to make this turn out in this positive way all right so it's very interesting where it's just like something revealing itself to you pisces that you really wanted so badly but your hands were kind of tied behind your back in the sense of being like you couldn't make the possibility of this to happen any quicker so very very positive sign here we have here the spirit of wands coming in here uh enthusiastic adventurous darling so very much so um i like this energy a lot pisces because this lets me know uh for you guys that i can't help but feel as if pisces like a lot of you guys there's some type of relationship in your life um that you know with that with that page of wands darling it's the sense of where it's like this new journey presenting itself to you with uh side by side with this person um i do feel strongly like no matter who it is i feel like it's like y'all are really going to be holding hands together whether it's family friendship or what have you you're going to be taking on the world together from a deeper place uh pisces um and i even get for some of you guys you might be, end up being business partners in some way uh with this energy as well um but it's very interesting like yeah. 
I don't know how else to really explain this Pisces. It's just like I'm being shown like you walking through multiple doors by yourself, but then someone comes in, takes their hand, brings some sense of good news or whatever or what have you uh, with that sun energy here. And it's like you were so used to walking alone in some type of path, but then you start walking through these new doorways with someone by your side. And again, it could be romantic, platonic, business or anything. You're just having some type of connection that's going to be there for the long haul. Uh, Pisces that's going to be there to assist you, walk with you. Definitely someone that's part of your soul tribe. I do want to be saying Pisces. I definitely feel that. Um, Eight of Swords energy here. Maybe you just didn't know how to get to this connection to happen. It's almost as if the moment you stopped trying to force this to happen, that's when this good news happens. You know, you were trying to really force finding your spiritual tribe or this person to walk with you but it's like once you stopped trying to you start focusing just on yourself that's when they come comes in um at the easiest time very interesting let's get into your second row now i need to bridge this uh deck real quick hold on pisces mm guess we'll deal with it uh so we have coming in here the nine of cups pisces coming in under that sun energy very positive darling very very positive because sun energy with that nine of cups it's like a wish being granted right the nine of cups that's their definition of the nine of cups is a wish being granted so it's like again it's like this consistent message where it's just like you wanted this so badly but i can't help but feel like you didn't have all the details of how this would pan out or maybe it's even very unexpected uh, of how this presents itself to you where you're just like oh man like you completely like you've always had this wish in the back of your head but you weren't even put like i get this sense of where it's just like you weren't even trying when this actually starts happening to you when it starts presenting itself to you pisces it's like you weren't even your thought the idea of where it's just like yeah i would like to be married sometime but you weren't putting energy towards it and then like your soulmate comes or You've always wanted to like write a book and then an opportunity for you to be published. Uh, you meet like a publisher, right? Um, randomly out of the blue while you're just doing your nine to five and really haven't been putting it's in that sense where it's just like you're you have this goal this ideal but then you're doing other things when this presented itself to you you know it's like when you least expect it again center this energy as well as under the hierophant five of pentacles all right darling so definitely is like there's is there's been this underlying pessimism we'll just say uh pisces that's been associated with this energy here where it's just like you wanted this you desired this so badly but then at the same time you feel as if you weren't deserving of this right that you were not worthy or pretty enough you know there's this sense of feeling like unworthiness here or just this overall sense of where there wasn't a very you, it didn't look like it was going to be a positive outcome like again like i don't feel like you anticipate this coming in so when the sun card reveals it all you're just like whoa, whoa you know that's how i feel it's like you're very caught off guard by it in a very positive way uh pisces and then we have the double energy here with the queen of cups yeah darling there's this consistent underlying message of where it's just like you just did not think this is gonna happen pisces back of the deck here ace of wands but there's a strong desire from you to have this happen so it's like you want this to happen so badly but then you have all this negative association with this as well where it's just like ah oh, but that never would actually happen or again like you don't feel like you're worthy enough for it or you wouldn't ever meet the qualifications or what have you pisces which is just very interesting to me because it's just like do you guys just not see yourself clearly do you not see how talented you are how beautiful you are so it's just like this becomes extremely affirming for you right and that explains why we have that eight of swords energy as the back of the deck for your first row uh pisces because it's just like you feel so powerless in this situation to have this work in your favor you feel this powerless about it just because of this pessimism that you have that you don't feel like you're worthy of it the underlying message um we have here the four of pentacles as well as the seven of wands coming in here persistence and conviction with cons conservation and practicality here uh pisces so maybe for a lot of you guys uh darling <laughs> it's almost as if uh pisces you really were being challenged in the sense of where you've continued on in your path you may have had this pessimism but you never have given up on this 
this goal, this ideal, this nine of cups. You may not have known how you're going to get there or how you're going to get to this accomplishment or how you're going to find this true love or just what have you, right? Whatever this is about. You never fully gave up on that dream. You just didn't know how it was going to look or how you were going to get there necessarily. And so what I get for you guys, Pisces, it's like you guys need to just continue investing into yourself, you know, continue, um, you know, I don't feel again, I get the sense of where it's like you it's like the moment you stop trying to force this to happen in a certain time frame and you just, you know, give into the give into the divine and trust in the process to be like, all right, this is gonna come in into in your terms and God's terms or what have you. You know, um, that's when it happens, but you don't fully give up on the dream at all, uh, Pisces. So you've had this pessimism, just know that this isn't your reality of how you view yourself in just this weird pessimistic way, all right back of the deck is that ace the ones that we talked about beforehand so uh let's now get into your third row uh pisces what a weird message this has been pisces because it's just like i really want to just i feel like i called you guys cancer earlier and i apologize if i did pisces <laughs> i just did cancer's reading so it's like you know all you zodiacs are like my children darling so it's like sometimes it can be a slip up but pisces it's like this weird thing and i noticed this with you guys i feel like i get i always feel like this um parental energy that i want to give to you guys and just celebrate you guys and just like uplift y'all pisces because i feel like y'all are such beautiful creatures y'all are such beautiful souls but i always feel like you guys are the hardest on yourself darling and that bums me out so let's get into your third row now darling we have here the 10 of wands under your 10 of or rather under your sun energy as well as your nine of cups uh pisces and then darling we have the nine of pentacles coming in here under your five of pentacles in your hierophant and then we have that judgment card that just flopped out darling right under the devil and queen of cups here <sighs> interesting here so pisces I, this is kind of like this similar message of where it's just like you have all this weight happening right now that's your reality it's like you have all these stressors that are just on your back currently and so the message here is where it's like with this nine of pentacles where it's like that under that hierophant and that five of wands here you're going to be guided uh pisces you know here's the thing you've had this desire right you've always daydreamed of the idea of publishing your own book we'll just go with that analogy um this idea of publishing your own book or insert whatever it is for you um but because you never knew how you get from point a to point b of publishing that book you that's where the frustration lies where it's just like it's almost like you you feel defeated before it even gets started right and so the message here for you guys pisces is where it's like just because this ten of wands that's where your heaviness is now that's not your reality for the rest of your life darling nine of wands comes in where it's like you're going to be taking care of you're going to be receiving signs from spirits your spirit guys that's why there's always with the nine of uh are the nine of pentacles i hope i have been calling it the nine of wands the nine of pentacles here there's always some type of avery or some type of animal uh with the individual because the it's that animal i see it as your spirit guide um guiding you to doing the next right move and so your job here is not to figure it out you know your job is just to continue on with that faith and tending to yourself working on yourself because spirit has your back they're going to show you the path um how to get from point a to point b to point z darling right they're gonna they're gonna take care of you but you know you can't get frustrated with the logistics of it all right it's like this paralysis by over analysis energy here you'll know when to take action judgment energy you'll know when to take action but you it's not going to be at a time where you force it to happen at a specific time frame uh pisces and i feel like that's where the frustration lies is because it's like you feel as if you're hitting a brick wall constantly um and that's where the frustration comes in but it's just like again when you stop hitting your head up against the brick wall and you do other things that's when the, the things open up for you darling and it just presents itself on a silver platter for you darling so we have here the what is this the six of cups coming in here right yeah six of cups coming in with the what is this darling the lover's card coming in darling all right darling come on now um and then we have one last card <clears throat> I guess two cards, darling. Uh, we have the Metamorphosis card, which is the Death card in Normal Tarot, as well as the Four of Wands coming in, darling. So, Four of Wands is the card of marriage, darling. So, this randomly gets into a pretty deep message here, Pisces. 
I do feel as if for many of you guys, Pisces, again, it's like this sense of having a really strong affirm affirmation, Pisces, about some type of relationship in your life that makes you feel a lot more secure in yourself and just the relationships that you have, uh, Pisces. Four of Wands also is the card of wish fulfillment. So you have the Nine of Cups and that Four of Wands coming in for you, darling. And then with that Lover's card, you can't neglect that as well. So it's like the moment you stop trying to make love happen in your life, that's when your soulmate really shows up that's you're going to connect with for the long term right it's like the moment you stop trying to make love happen on your time frame that's just when it shows up um i like this a lot for you um pisces i do feel as if the main part for you guys is just learning to let go I feel like that's the main thing for you guys, Pisces, is just learning when to let go and stop trying to have things foot work in your time frame. Because when you just start focusing on yourself, no longer feeling defeated in that way, um, that's when the blessings happen, right? Did we get into the back of the deck for this one? I don't remember. We didn't. Ace of Swords coming in. So you got the Ace of Swords and then the Ace of Wands. Or rather, Ace of Wands and now the Ace of Swords, darling. Zo, Zo. <laughs> So Pisces, for y'all, like you'll know when to go forward. The Ace of Swords as well as well as the card of like action going forward. So it's like you guys don't need to just try to make things happen anymore, Pisces. You guys, your job is just be ready when it does happen, right? Because it's gonna happen, darling. Your guys are letting you know it's gonna happen, darling. But you just need to be ready for it. But don't try, you know, don't try to make the race start any sooner than when it is. Because no matter how many times you're just like that, you say he's like, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? the race is going to start when it's going to start today, like, essentially. So take that as you will, Pisces, all right? <clears throat> we have the koala spirit coming in, number eight in numerology. So go ahead and write that down for me. And then... <laughs> the spirit has a plan darling can we appreciate this card because this is letting you know again it's just like it's you're working under spirit's time darling you're not working under pisces time you might be thinking you're working under pisces time darling but you're not darling okay spirit has a plan so just allow things to be right just stop trying to force the plan to go into uh action any sooner right just because you want something spirit knows it all right spirit knows it and they have a plan to get you from point a to point b to point c to point z darling all right so trust in the process you know um be a little bit more hands off with the process that's really the main message here uh and then the ant card coming in the strength card because y'all are just really y'all are workers y'all all really Pisces don't like to just stand back and just like let things just happen you guys like to be very much so in control um and having things just you know you're so used to having to work so hard at everything to come to you or have anything accomplished that you feel like this is going to be the same energy same vibe and that's not the case Pisces the case of this is where it's just like the plan is going to be happening um this is not a case where you just need to work harder all right to make this happen it's like stop trying to force it that's really the main message that keeps trying to come out all right stop trying to force it final thoughts here knight of pentacles hermit energy with the high priestess card um yeah, this is really the Knight of Pentacles. It's the slowest moving knight. What was the other energy here? Hermit energy. You know, it's the slowest moving knight, but it gets to where it needs to be going. So until then, until that Knight of Pentacles shows up knocking on your door, be that hermit. You know, the hermit is the card of self reflection, you know, connect, connecting deeper with yourself, learning about yourself more, right? Just focusing on the self, darling. And then, you know, that Knight of Pentacles, it gets to where it's going. It's going to come knocking on your door, and you're going to know what it does as that high priestess, as I said listen to your intuition pisces listen to your intuition and that's when it's going to be showing up in your life all right um you'll know when to open the door all right you'll know when it comes up and when to take action um pisces so yeah i love you guys so much pisces hopefully you enjoyed this tarot reading today if you did let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe darling um remember to book a private reading with me at my website only at simply Velka. Dot com. It's next to my social medias down below, uh, next to my TikTok, uh, Instagram, and Facebook, all that just being Simply Valka as well. And I'll be connecting with you, Pisces, sometime in the near future. Start having a better uh, sense of value, Pisces, and stop trying to make things happen, darling. Just continue riding the wave, you know, let go and let God, darling, because spirit has a plan. All right. I love you so much, Pisces. Bye.